Not much to like about this one if you're a Laker fan with the Lakers dropping this game 111 to 97 and thus being 1 and 3 throughout preseason but then again the record doesn't count and the much more important takeaway here if you ask me is JJ Ray confirming their 9 man rotation. Entering this game he said that he would run their 9 man rotation during the first half and well he stayed true to his word. He played 9 players in the first half and thus confirmed his day 1 starting lineup and day 1 rotation entering the regular season. And yes, it did happen to be the 5 players from their starting lineup, with that being D'Lo, Reeves, LeBron, Hachimura, and Anthony Davis. And then off the bench, Christie came off the bench first, followed by Jackson Hayes and Gabe Vincent. And then after them, it did take a little bit, but eventually Dalton Connect was that ninth guy. He came in the game a little bit late during the second quarter, but he eventually got that confirmation that he is the ninth guy within the rotation and thus will be in their day one rotation. And although it's been a bit of an up and down preseason for Dalton Connect, I think we all kind of knew that he would be that ninth guy. His only other competition was a fairly injured Cam Reddish or not completely healthy quite yet. He's still ramping up being on a minute restriction and apart from him there really wasn't anyone that gave him a lot of competition. Reddick complimented Jalen Hojifino along with a few teammates and Rob Plinka as well throughout training camp but I don't think anyone really thought that he would push Dalton Connect for that day one rotation spot. I mean it would have been great to see but Hojifino really hasn't looked that great and actually underwhelming in some areas so he probably needs a little bit more time in the G League and overall development time too. And although Dalton Connect himself hasn't been that great, they definitely run a lot of plays for him and definitely have been trying to instill confidence in him too. They want him to shoot pretty much every time he gets open and honestly even when he's not open at times too. When he catches the ball they want him ready to shoot and especially when they are drawing up plays for him. Which again they did plenty of again tonight. Running pin down screens get him open, moving him all over the court and really having him attack the defense in multiple different ways. There are definitely plays that they can only run for Dalton Connect on their team being that movement shooter that can take shots off balance and really demands constant attention from the defense. Again definitely needs some work on it yet but he's looked pretty good in some areas and definitely can catch fire. He struggled throughout the first half only connecting on one shot, one three point shot but he did catch fire later on hitting four three point shots during the fourth quarter and ending 5 for 13 from 3 with a fairly respectable 38.5%. So really can't be too mad about that and I think he did earn that 9th spot within the rotation. With that being said though, Dalton Connect was not the only shocking addition to the rotation for some people. Some thought that Max Christie might get replaced again, potentially by Cam Reddish which I think we can all agree did not happen this time around. With Reddish kind of being hurt tending to an early injury or soreness as they labeled it throughout training camp and thus being very limited throughout training camp and preseason. And with it, Christy definitely took advantage of it and really made a good early impression on JJ Redick. And that led to him becoming their sixth man throughout preseason. He once again was that for them tonight, being the first guy off their bench during the first half and actually entering their starting lineup during the second half with Reeves on a minute restriction. They definitely have a lot of trust in him at this point and he can really do a lot for their team too. Reddick obviously likes versatility and there's plenty that they can get from Christie. Whether it's on defense, he can take on the toughest matchup on the court most often anyway. Tonight he defended both Steph Curry and Buddy Heald at times, the two toughest guard matchups and did fairly well on them too. We've seen him take on tough matchups in the past and that likely will be a role that he feels very often for them, especially when they're playing without Jared Vanderbilt. And then offensively, he primarily feels that catch and shoot role for them from the corner and wing but will do a little bit of self creation, backdoor cutting and overall movement on the court too. Fairly limited offensively yet in the role that he'll be filling but overall they definitely can do plenty with him on the court and Reddick will be looking to take advantage of that too. After that though, both Gabe Benson and Jackson Hayes are confirmed to be in there too and although they've been a bit up and down, Benson actually played really well up until this game struggling a little bit from the field obviously not making a shot and then not being that great on defense tonight definitely has good moments and I think he's overall looked like the Gabe Vincent that they signed last summer. Maybe not quite the Miami Heat version of Gabe Vincent during that 2023 NBA Finals run but overall a healthy looking Gabe Vincent and that's a good sign for their day one rotation. 
And then for Hayes, although a bit up and down, silly fear the young player at this point, definitely has been improving on rebounding and defense too. They've actually incorporated two big lineups with Hayes and Anthony Davis, which does seem to be a figment within the rotation. They've now gone to it three preseason games in a row during the late first quarter and early second quarter, employing Hayes at about the four minute mark and then keeping Anthony Davis with him on the court throughout the rest of the first quarter. And although it definitely needs work yet if you ask me, not being good offensively, with neither AD or Hayes being reliable three point shooters, Redick has tried to get AD back to being one, but it's simply not worked up until this point. He went 0 for 1 again tonight, only making one three point shot throughout preseason and not really looking confident nor really reliable from that range. And then with Hayes, not really being a three point shooter anymore, or definitely not with their team to begin with, so really lacking three point shooting with that lineup and overall floor spacing. But I think they can make it work during some matchups offensively and then definitely can be a good look to throw out their opponent defensively. It worked fairly well tonight with it being a really different look compared to their starting lineup, so in that regard it can help them a little bit. Again, not sure it'll work for every matchup, but I think they can and will use it within the rotation and probably will have good success with it during some matchups. With that being said though, I like that they have confirmed their day one rotation. I don't really like the mystery behind all of it, but I'm really not a big fan of it being a 9 man rotation to begin with. I still think that's a little bit weird and probably a bit too thin for the day one of regular season. Maybe they won't do it for every matchup and I think they probably should look to expand it to about a 10 or 11 man rotation during some matchups at the bare minimum, but I guess we'll find out how that goes for them. With that being said though, let me know what you guys think about their confirmed day one rotation for day one of the regular season. Do you like who's in it, and did anyone shock you that will be included? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. To go back and look at the film, but when you have a, a tough shooting night like that, are you, is it a kind of about the way that you're getting shots? Over I was highly encouraged with the shots we got, highly encouraged. It, it was when we didn't trust our offense and got a little stagnant, ball stuck. That's, that was the beginning of that third quarter. We had 19 points, I think, in the third and AD had eight on four straight possessions in ISO ball, which I called those plays because he, he hadn't touched it. I mean, that was just, we didn't play good offense that quarter. Um, so that happens sometimes. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a growth opportunity, it's a learning lesson for our group. Our execution, ball movement, passing, all of that stuff, and I'll, I'll rewatch it, but I, I thought it was great in the first half. We just didn't make shots. And, and that's a human nature. It's a tendency of, of groups, of players. I've lived it. Again, a lot of these things I've lived. So I have some experience and some perspective on it. You stop trusting it and you start, I got to get myself going. I got to get myself going. And it's not, it's not how we want to play. And that's okay. That's a, it happens. We'll get better. Um, but I was, I was very pleased with the types of shots we generated and, and give look given their size and given you know Draymond's a savvy player um, you know this was not going to be a, a heavy rim game for us it just wasn't um, so again I, I just thought they started that third I didn't I didn't like how we played uh, one individual note Rui had nine rebounds today his rebounding has been up um, all preseason did you kind of specifically yes. mention yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what have you seen from him and then kind of following Rui's been that. great I mean I, you know he um, I think was still getting acclimated when we had our first preseason game. He'd only practiced three times and uh, was not a, a full participant in, in most of September. He was he was in and out of the gym and um, he had some family stuff. So, you know, he, he's been super committed um, to our classroom and in the mornings and and he we talked about it today he feels like that's been very helpful and. Everything we've asked him to do, he's done. So he, he's he's been awesome. JJ, I know the finish line is, is way down the road for you guys, but you have a week left of the preseason. Um, you guys open on Tuesday. Next week, what areas do you think this, this team needs to, to take the biggest steps here over the next seven days to be ready for that game? We're ready. We're ready. Um, just continue to build trust in what we're doing. Um, Again, I'll, I'll rewatch it, but I, our off-ball rules were very clear. 
they are very clear. Um, we've practiced that. We worked on it again today. Uh, when we made stuff up, they hurt us. Um, so you just have to trust it. I thought our I thought our guys when they were in lock and trail and chasing and following our off ball screening rules, they did a really nice job. And when they didn't, they they hurt us. They got layups. Um, they got open threes. And and that's that's the biggest thing. There's some stuff you know we'll con continue to clean up some stuff in the transition defense, um, that wasn't particularly good. Um, you look at that, and then you look at us really just making mistakes in our off-ball rules, that's how they got 52 points in the paint. Um, and that's what this team does. Like, that's what the Warriors do. Um, you, you, have to, you have to trust what you're doing defensively.